liked. I've been shooting film photography for about 10 years now, and I focus primarily on women and women in nature. I'm really inspired by pre-Raphaelite painting, so, and also just kind of like empowering women, showing women's bodies, like normal women who aren't models, I guess. Like they're just people that I either meet at parties or they're my good friends. Um, so once quarantine started, uh, Cass, her sister got quarantined on the island. So I decided to move in with Cass during this period so that we weren't kind of stuck alone together the whole time. And we started spending lots of time in the backyard because it was so nice and hot out. We didn't really have much else to do. <laughs> started gardening, breeding, just like painting and hanging out. And a lot of the time we'd just do that topless with like bathing suit bottoms and underwear on. After maybe a month or so, we ended up getting a very threatening letter with super vulgar language, basically telling us to stop because otherwise they'll make us famous for it. And then we ended up getting a second letter afterwards. Both of them are anonymous, so we couldn't go and speak with them and say, hey, can we figure out, like, negotiate sort of like a compromise? Are there certain hours where, like, maybe your kids aren't home? Or what would make you feel comfortable where we can also still sort of do our own thing in our private backyard? And then we got a second letter with photos of me in the garden, um, topless in my underwear. And it basically said, I live at like this address, come say hi, because I love showing off. And they said, we will post this all around the neighborhood for it. Um, they didn't even say if you'll stop. They just said, we're going to post this everywhere. Our son's already been showing photos and videos on social media. It's sickening that you're doing this essentially. And that was about a week ago that we received that letter. In the first letter, I was like, yeah, of course. I'm like, you can't bully me into doing something different. If you'd came and spoken to us nicely or even written a nice anonymous letter, would have felt differently. But then after the second one, seeing photos, it's made me a lot more uncomfortable in the backyard. Like, even just hanging out in the backyard, I'm kind of like, ew, I feel like somebody's watching us. Our landlord was really supportive. Uh, we haven't talk to talked to him about the second letter yet, but with the first letter, Cass messaged him about it, and he was really supportive. And he actually was the one that suggested we go to the police about it, which we did eventually do. They were quite supportive, like they were more supportive the second time, because the first time they were kind of like, female to female, you should just cover up. And the second time they were a lot more supportive and understanding of our point about it all, and also not wanting to be bullied into them getting their way. Well, I think my hugest concern is the lessons that they're teaching to their children about one, body shaming, two, slut shaming, and three, consent or lack of, because if they think it's more problematic that we're hanging out in our backyard topless than it is that their, I'm assuming, teenage son is taking photos of us and posting it on social media, that's, that would, I just want to really like ram that lesson into them about how unhealthy that is and the fact that that's literally teaching their children that like if a woman is doing something like if a woman is naked or mildly unclothed or maybe dressed provocatively that basically anybody can do anything they want with them because it's they're asking for it because that seems like the lesson that they're teaching their children and that concerns me.